Good morning from Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Dollywood Theme Park has just opened a brand new hotel called Heartsong Lodge and Resort. And we're about to be among its very first guests. So we're gonna bring you along for the full stay, room tour, resort tour, show you everything there is to offer here at this brand spanking new hotel at Dollywood. Welcome yeah. to Heart Song Lodge and Resort. Thank you so much. We're so happy that you're here. You're some of our first guests. Wow! Amazing! Isn't that exciting? Wow. And as you enter, you'll see one of the most beautiful things we have to resort. It's a four-story rock fireplace. It's absolutely beautiful. Wow! All right, we have spring. Summer, so fall, and winter. So it will be changing with the seasons. So right now, this one's my favorite just because I love all the animals that are in it. It's so, so pretty. Look like at the fall colors. Right when you come in the lobby, you are met with this 4,000 square foot atrium lobby. Look at that view. And the centerpiece is this fireplace it is so beautiful it goes all the way up to the ceiling i don't think it's lit yet but hopefully it will be later this resort features 302 rooms and suites there are balcony rooms all the touches are inspired by the smoky mountains the saying here is where smoky mountain beauty meets refined hospitality all right, we just checked in. They were so sweet, right? Yeah, they were so nice. They were telling us about the story here. They said that Dream More is more about going to Dolly's home, and this is more about going to where Dolly goes to relax, yeah. the Smoky Mountains. What inspired her? So we're meant to relax and rejuvenate and be inspired here too. There's beautiful views. The lobby is filled with light. It is gorgeous. Um, and they're just all so excited for this work. It's kind of like a soft opening preview days, but I guess we should go up to the room, right? I think so. Let's go. Let's go get the luggage. Let's go! We've parked in the guest area and now we're gonna walk in. I think we're gonna go in over here where the trolley stop is. There is a trolley that takes you straight over to Dollywood and I think that's the entrance we're gonna go in through. So let's go. Guest check-in trolley lobby. There's a trolley right now and here's where we're gonna enter. It smells brand new in here, like fresh construction, fresh wood and tile and just brand, brand new. There's the indoor pool. It says it's indoor heated pool. It looks so nice. Oh yeah, we'll be checking that out. The decor brings in the Smoky Mountains. We've got tree, like tree logs, tree stumps with glass looking colors in them. There's a quick service dining place, a restaurant, which hopefully we're gonna have dinner there tonight, a fitness center, a shop. We're gonna check out everything. Incredible Smoky Mountain art. Beautiful. Dollywood's Heart Song Lodge and Resort. A heart song melody plays like a symphony. The sweetest music I have ever known. So there are these screens everywhere with different designs. Like we got a bear here. Ready? Ready. All right. Here we go. First look. We're staying in a king room with a Murphy bed and a balcony view. Let me show you around. The first thing that I notice, obviously, is how clean and new it looks. But this mural here of the Smoky Mountains. That is so beautiful. Look, we've got bears, butterflies. Butterflies are Dolly's symbol. She loves butterflies and we love Dolly, so isn't this pretty, Sam? It's so pretty. Yeah. The bed looks cozy. The bed is a king bed. <laughs> well, probably, I mean, we should be the first people to sleep in it, right? I think so. Yeah. Only, I think, 10 guests stayed here yesterday because at the last minute, they opened up a preview day. Yeah, today, by the way, is Friday the 13th. They didn't want to open on Friday the 13th. Yeah, so that's what I think. <laughs> so everything is sort of charming and rustic, but modern and clean. Very cozy feeling. 
this chair is so pretty. It's this soft fabric material, and it almost looks like an abstract art of the Smoky Mountains with the fall colors. Like it's gold and green, really pretty. There's a coffee maker. There's this thing, which is interesting. I think that this is uh, sleep noises, like white noise. So on the bottom it says, enjoy the sounds of the Smokies with our guest room sound machine. If removed, a charge of $100 will be automatically applied. Everyone's gonna want it. <laughs> I wonder if I'll sell these, but... Crap, man, campfire. Are you kidding me? Let's see, like a rain. That is so nice. What if we want rain? Campfire, we want some... And we want some like music. Some crickets, some birds. We are in the Smoky Mountains now. Done. How nice is that? And you can set timers. Oh yeah, 60 minutes, 120 and 180. You know we're having this on tonight. This is going to be on tonight for sure. We use a fan noise anyway. We do, we love our white noise. Nice. It also comes with two beautiful postcards, a day scene and a night scene. Very nice. Here is the Murphy bed. Uh, maybe later we'll try to take that down, but you know, it pulls down to be an extra bed. And here is the sofa. And I think, well, we should be the first, or at least among the first to sit here. It's very comfortable. Cozy. <laughs> you know what's essential to know? Hmm. Is there plugs on both sides of the bed? There are. And USB, but like, like a plug with USB in them. It's kind of low tech, but high tech, which works. Very Cozy. Smoky Mountains, yeah. <laughs> There's a Bible here, an alarm clock, wall sconces, these kind of leather strap details here. Everything's like wood and leather and natural. On the Murphy bed, there's a QR code. And when you scan it, it has instructions for how to open it. I love that. Very simple and effective. All right, let's see. All right. Let's see if I can do this by myself, I can. It's easy. It's very easy. It goes, good night. Tomorrow's going to be a great day. Love, Dolly. <laughs> we'll, we'll say that right before we go to bed. We will. It's a decent sized bed. Let's see, and then to put back up, you just, it's so easy. Rawr, I'm strong. Mm, that's impressive. Yeah. Really easy, really <laughs> cool. There's also plenty of storage here. There's some storage space in here, some shelves. It looks like this might have been where the mini fridge would have been, but it's empty, so that's interesting. I guess you could stick luggage in there. What's in here? Um, extra blankets and stuff like that. A little seat here, television, obviously. And then here is sort of your conveniences area. So there is a mini fridge. Ooh, there we go. Nice, a safe, storage, luggage storage, an iron, ironing board, laundry bag, ice bucket. <laughs> Essential. And then more space over here and a full length mirror, again with these sort of leather looking straps that look like a belt with belt buckles, very pretty detail. And now for the banyo area. It is divided in half with a toilet and shower and sink area here for getting ready, a beautiful sink with like fireflies on it. Very, very pretty. Again, with the belt buckle details, nice sink. Gilchrist and Soames body lotion, soap and all that. Plenty of towels and hair dryer. <laughs> Never been used, but. <laughs> yeah. And then in the bathroom toilet area, there's a toilet and a walk-in shower with two shower heads. Oh, Heart Song Lodge and Resort, their own branded shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. This is gonna squeak. <laughs> White tiles, crisp and clean, beautiful. A lot of towels too, and they're really plush looking, so. There's one more area we need to go out and look at. <gasps> And now we see our view. There are only some rooms here with balcony and we got one of them. So it looks like we look out on the porte cochere, on the balcony, on the front here. Mm 
So our view's out at the front of the resort. We can see some of the fall colors in the trees though. I really like that. It's just starting to change the colors here. And that's one of the most beautiful things in the Smoky Mountains. <laughs> the furniture's right behind you. Let's see what we got here. Two chairs and a little table. Perfect for our morning coffee. That's exactly my thoughts. And you can hear this quiet country music, sort of fiddle music, banjo music, and it's very nice. Soothing. One more thing I love, there's a lot of art and touches throughout the resort and this Smoky Mountain Moments are treasured memories. It's really pretty. <laughs> I'm very excited to see how this bed feels when we sleep in it tonight. It feels very soft to sit on. But now that we've explored the room a bit, we are gonna go downstairs and have dinner in their sit-down restaurant and explore more of the lobby, the pool area, just everything. So uh, let's go. I hope you're hungry, because I am. It looks like at the end of the hallway, there's this bridge where we can look down on the lobby in the fireplace. So here, hey, this is the back of the room. This is the front where you enter. These are so pretty. And the other side is the back of the fireplace. These windows are said to be inspired by lanterns. It looks like since we're still in kind of a soft opening here, that part of the resort is not yet open. Exciting. And here's the other side, and we can see the back of the fireplace. We can hear a lot of guests checking in as we move into the afternoon. You can see the pool out there. It looks so pretty. I can't wait to get a better look at that. And it looks like the fire might be on. Let's go check it out, the fireplace. So just like I showed you downstairs in the lobby, there's a screen with the different seasons. The elevators also have screens in them. Oh, look how pretty! With different nature scenes in the Smoky Mountains. This is so cool. There are so many different little activities going on in here. Right now they're crafting corn husk dolls and there's different things each day in the Camp Dollywood section. This is so cute. There's little games and stuff. <laughs> okay, in the lobby they are serving hot Wassail, right? So I'm familiar with the song here. We go wassailing, but I don't know what wassail is, but we're gonna find out. I feel like it's like a hot cider type of thing. Like a citrusy cider. Ooh. So it's got some orange juice in it. Oh, it so says right here. Okay. Right there. Okay. So it's I apple cider, it. orange juice, lemon juice, cinnamon, cloves, ginger, nutmeg. What a fall. Get a wassail. Right, I'll get Cheers. One. Our first wassail. Oh, okay. I think it's delicious. Oh, it's delicious. It is right. like a hot cider, but like cinnamony. Yeah. I, I told him to wait to take yeah. a sip because I wanted to catch his authentic first reaction. Hi, I like wassail. Mm. I like wassail. Here we go, wassailing. We're wassailing on. And how cute that they're giving that away that in the so lobby. Cute. That's so cute. I love it. Let's take a quick look at the pool for dinner. Oh, it's nice out here. Found a rocking chair. So nice. This whole area is landscaped beautifully. The outdoor pool isn't open yet, but look at how pretty it is. It's got a waterfall with a rock in the middle. There's lots of seating out here by the pool. It's really pretty. The stonework and the natural earthy colors. So this over here, there's more balcony rooms and these have a view of the pool 
and the trees and the mountain. Whereas ours is looking out towards the front. Out here by the pool, I see life vests, towels, and then, is this the hot tub? The cove. This is a big hot tub. This looks so nice. Please, please open this weekend. <laughs> if this opens while we're staying here, we're definitely going in. Yeah, spa room. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm the queen of hot tubs, so this has to be done. Check this out. Fire pits. Fire pit rules. And there's a shut off. So it's not on right now, but I bet it'll be on later. Be we'll come back out. Okay, let's go back inside. Oh, this is the quick service. Oh, so many cute things. Look at all the candies. We'll come back to show more of this, but right now let's get to dinner. All right, here's a restaurant. Let's go in. Hi. <laughs> Look at that oven. How cool. Have to eat. Thank you. <laughs> The restaurant here is called Ember and Elm, and the menu is like wood, which is nice. And there are so many different options. And at Dollywood, they do not serve any alcohol, but at the resorts and the restaurants, they do. And they have a pumpkin spice martini. They have a pickle martini, so we're definitely gonna try some drinks too. And they have spirits and beer. And also on a piece of wood is the dinner menu. They have shareables and more. So we're gonna decide. For like appetizer shareable, we're gonna get the fried green tomatoes and the deviled eggs three ways. For my dish, I'm gonna get Springer Mountain Farms fried chicken. It's pickle brine, so very excited for that. What are you getting? Short ribs. The short ribs, so the beef short rib skillet. And uh, yeah, we're excited. And a picotini. And a picotini. <laughs> we have started out with Sam's pickle martini that I am gonna try. A glass of Chardonnay for me and their house made bread. Don't the biscuits smell amazing? They, I was just gonna say they smell so good. Like the smell is wafting. They smell like fresh biscuits. Sam is gonna try the pickle martini. Oh, it smells like pickle. Okay, I'm very excited. What does it taste like? Pickle. Martini? It tastes like pickle juice. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try it. All right, pickle time. It does smell just like pickle, and it has an olive inside with a pickle in the olive. So it's a pickle stuffed olive. Not like subtle pickle, like no, pure pickle. No, very strong. It's not like a pickle milkshake. No. Well, let's see. Tastes like? So it does taste like a martini. So you know normally you'd get a martini with an olive in it. So we yeah. got a little bit of that taste in there anyway. It's just like literally they took the dry pickles and like poured the juice in it. <laughs> it's very interesting. Good. It's, it's, it's just weird. Yeah. Like you know when we get those fancy pickles from Publix? I imagine if you poured like some vodka in the jar at the end. Yeah. This is kind of <laughs> like very that. interesting. Do you, you like it? That? You enjoy that. Hi. We'll have my Chardonnay. Cheers. Cheers. That's pickle. And that's Chardonnay. <laughs> All right, time for a biscuit. They made it fresh, yeah. This is like a jelly jam. They make all of this in-house, make the biscuits fresh. Mm. From the shareables, we got the fried green tomatoes. Cornmeal, a roasted red pepper colis, stone ground grits, goat cheese, and fresh basil. We also got the deviled eggs three ways, crispy pimento cheese, chicken Caesar, and hot honey shrimp. It's good. They said this is a red pepper chili jam made by the chef, and it's house in-house made. They don't sell it. You can't get it anywhere else. It's its own special creation. I'm going for a deviled egg. I'm gonna try the shrimp. shrimp. For two, try some uh, fried green tomato. The shrimp egg is delicious. It's got a little bit of spice, a little bit of heat, but like barely any. It's not spicy. It's just really, really tasty. 
The chicken salad is so good. It's like a ranch chicken salad inside an egg. Like, oh my god, that is delicious. It's so good, right? Yeah. Maybe we can make those at home. We're chowing down on our appetizers. Everything is delicious. We love it all. So I can definitely recommend these two shareables as very tasty, very fresh, very unique, but like just really, really good dishes. I am now a big fan of deviled eggs. Yeah, good. Try this one. This one is real good. Okay. Those deviled eggs are out of hand. These are definitely the best deviled eggs I've ever had. And I never thought I'd say something like that. I thought deviled eggs are deviled eggs. I like them, but like they're all the same. These are not. Now they gave us, an, um, there's three left. So we're gonna split each in half. That's how much we like them all. Yeah, we don't want one, we don't want no. one or the other. We don't, either of us want the other to miss out on a little extra of any of the flavors. Which one do you like most? Um, I kind of think the shrimp one. Yeah, I think this one. Yeah, but they're all that like one. ace. Yeah. A plus. A plus. Yeah. 10 out of 10. Eggtastic. Egg. Excellent. Excellent. I was going to say excellent. <laughs> I don't know what this, I guess this is like cheese. I don't know what this is, but this is amazing. So it's a cornmeal. I don't know, but it's awesome. It's so good. We both love it. Yeah. Mm. Half an egg for you, my dear. Thank you. Wonderful work. We housed our appetizers and we're so full, but we're definitely going to eat our dinners that are on the way, our main courses. Nearly clean plates. Housed. Housed. How's that pickle teeny? Pickly. Pickly. How pickly. So I've opted to switch to a beer because while the pickle teeny is, as the name states, pickly, <laughs> I would not suggest it unless you very much love pickles. Right, so recently we had the pickle milkshake yeah. and we enjoyed that because it was very mild and I we love pickle. I think that gave me like a false sense confidence. Of, yeah, false confidence. Because <laughs> that was delicious. But it looked very pickly. Yeah. So you decided to go for a paper crown IPA here? How was it? I did. It's delicious. It's hazy, it's citrusy, and just it's going down a tree. Good. <laughs> Our mains have arrived. I have a pile of fried chicken 10 miles high. I tell you what. Looks nice. Let me get a piece. Oh, tender. Oh, you barely have to cut it. I got the Springer Mountain Farms fried chicken, pickle brine chicken thighs, mashed potatoes, black pepper milk gravy, and agave glazed carrots. Sam got the beef short rib cast iron skillet with tender braised beef short ribs, red wine reduction, creamy polenta, and garlic roasted broccolini. It's pickle brine. <laughs> it tastes really good though. It tastes like a savory, delicious fried chicken with a hint of pickle. A hint. Not full pickle. Not full pickle teeny, yeah. Delicious, really tender, soft chicken that just falls apart. So good. Look at We've this. got here. Short rib. Mm. Good? Soft, juicy. Mm. I gotta try it too. Oh, how's it going over there? Oh, I think I'm done. Broccolini's really good. This fried chicken is so good. Probably the best that I've had here, I think. Like, we've tried a lot of different fried chickens in Pigeon Forge, and this one's just really, like, savory and really tender. It's not dry in the slightest. The pickle brine is really good. And then um, the mashed potatoes are good, and the gravy has a little bit of spice, a little bit of kick to it. It's good. Yeah. yeah. So we're, we're house and we're working, we're enjoying, we're very I much think, enjoying. I think I preferred yours. Uh, yeah, rib, me too. Nice. Yeah, I preferred mine, but both were good. And we are so full. <laughs> As of now, the restaurant opens for dinner at 5 p.m. For everything, multiple appetizers, two mains, three drinks, it was $140, and I'd say for the atmosphere and the location and all of that, that's less than I expected to pay, to be honest, for all of that. So, and we definitely ordered extra and we're a little extravagant because this is the first full night of service here at this restaurant they opened yesterday a day early as like a soft 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 open but tonight's the first night it's like full of guests and full-on open and we just really wanted to try a lot of things because it's not every day you get to be at the opening of a brand new resort and all these restaurants and compliments to the chef everything was delicious the staff is awesome everyone's lovely the atmosphere is great and 
We loved it, we enjoyed it, yeah. Let's head outside and have a look around. Well, it's just before 7 p.m. and the fire pits have all been lit. This one is so pretty. So it looks like there are at least five of these individual fire pits with seats and it feels so warm and good. It feels so cozy. And then there's that big, huge one over there. It's like all the rocks are one big fire. People are sitting at the fires, cozy as anything. Oh, this is so nice. I love it. This is like how I picture a, a hotel in the Smoky Mountain. Yeah. Like they went for that vibe of like the Smoky Mountain inspiring Bali. They hit it. Yeah, definitely. It's so nice with the fire pit too. Like all the different fire pits with this haze coming up from them and this glow and there's water fountains and it's beautiful. Really bringing the nature in. Crazy. Yeah. This cat or this cat or one of both? So we have rainbow mix or classic? Yes. Oh, one of both would be great. Thank right. you. Let's fix you up. Thank you. How awesome is this sale? So cool. This is one of the camp activities going on. Totally free, by the way. I'm going to try this spiral one, man. This looks... I want to roast this puppy. <laughs> Yummy. Or it will follow you. Fun. It's a party over here, right? Yeah. Yeah, everyone's like campfire partying. This is nice. All right, ready? I can hear you. Hello? No, it's not what I thought it was. I can hear you behind me. <laughs> You got it. Go. Go to dancing. Balance of a tight, uh, what, tight, tight rope. Is that what they're called? Oh yeah, tight rope. Don't even. Don't do it with the camera. I got it. No, you'll fall. Da, na, na. Look at this. No. no problem. No problem. Look, I'm not gonna fall anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> this pole's out. You don't even need the rope. You don't even need the rope. Now come down it. Nah. <laughs> I'm too full. <laughs> I don't know if those are supposed to be for your hands or your feet. I'm not sure, to be honest. I don't know. There are some musical chimes out here to play with. Some bells. Playing. Yes. There's a lot of little fun, interactive things to play with. Benches, places to sit and relax. wait to come back here and stay here when the pool is open. Look at the lounge chairs in the water, in the pool. Woo wee! This is nice. All right, let's go inside now and check out the shop and just more of what's going on. There's a lot here, right? Butterflies everywhere. The international symbol of Dolly Parton. It looks like here in the quick service, we came back to check out more. They have their own 
Dollywood Heart Song Lodge branded sweets and they have a lot in here and there's a cafe with coffee so we'll probably come get coffee in the morning pizza salad sandwiches and cinnamon bread from the grist mill are you kidding me sam we gotta take one up to the room definitely definitely and look at how pretty these decorated cookies are they have some really nice healthy options in here yogurt and fruit and really really fresh looking salads croissant sandwiches juice it's lovely milk and then right across the way is the gift shop honeysuckle and pine storied goods mercantile so many cute things okay they have heart song lodge merchandise we have to get something to commemorate this i think that a simple t-shirt will do look at the hats hi oh yeah we're definitely gonna do some shopping Butterflies everywhere. Very pretty, cozy things. Lots of Heart Song branded merchandise. And then like Tennessee and Dollywood. Oh, some Christmas. Look at these cozy little faux fireplaces, Sam. Maybe we can get one. Look, it's full on Christmas. Beautiful. I called Pink Christmas a theme this year, didn't I? There's a pretty Christmas ornament too. We may get this to commemorate our stay here. Very pretty. That's $20. I got a t-shirt and I was able to use my Dollywood season pass. Gold uh, season pass gets a discount here, so it was less than $20 for my shirt. Yay! Hey Jeff. Uh, Do you know what I want? Yes. Lead the way. And we're back in the lobby, and the large fireplace is lit. A little girl sitting with butterflies. Maybe that's meant to represent Dolly. She's dreaming, she's a dreamer. Listening to her heart song. Oh, I love it. This is all so nice. We love the vibe. We're so comfortable. We're so happy. We're gonna go back up to the room now and get even more cozy. There's a ticket booth in here also where you can get park tickets and time saver and staying here does come with one of the levels of time saver which we'll be utilizing as well. You can get park maps and other area attractions. Let's go back up to the room. Get cozy. What are you doing? Nothing. Cinnamon <laughs> bread! <laughs> How amazing is it that we can get that here? Get this on the balcony? Yeah. That's gonna be our dessert, isn't it? It's gonna be our dessert. Oh, it's so pretty out. So we're staying here at Dollywood's Heart Song Lodge and Resort for two nights. We're very, very excited. And while we're here in the Pigeon Forge Gatlinburg area, you know we're gonna be getting up to some fun. We come to this area once per season. So spring, summer, Fall. We haven't done Christmas yet though, so I actually can't say once per season, but almost once per season. Hopefully this year we'll be able to do Christmas, but we try to come once per season. It's become a bit of a home away from home for us. We try to do different and new things each time we come, like new mountain coasters, new attractions, everything. So while we're here, we're gonna get into some fun. We're gonna hang out in Pigeon Forge, Gatlinburg, 
of course Dollywood for the Harvest Festival, the fall stuff, Great Pumpkin and Luminites. Did I say pumpkin? Great Pumpkin Luminites, which we love. So look forward to videos about all of that and we'll continue our stay here at Heartsong in the videos. Like we'll show you, you know, what we do as we get up and we go. The rest of the stay will be weaved into the rest of the video. So to see more of Heartsong and more of our stay here in Pigeon Forge, Gatlinburg, Tennessee, uh, stay tuned for the upcoming videos. We love this area. It's about a 10 hour drive for us. So it's kind of a close but far vacation. And it's just, I don't know, everybody's friendly. Everything's fun. There's so many wacky things, but there's also beautiful nature. Like we've done Kling Man's Dome and gone through the Smoky Mountains and done so many beautiful things in nature as well. And we love it all. We love the mix, you know, the wacky touristy things and the beautiful nature that this area offers. And everyone here has been amazing. So far, we love this resort. It is homey and cozy and beautiful and clean and lovely. The colors, the feel, everything's just wonderful. We would definitely stay here again. So let me know what you think so far. And again, just stay tuned for the rest of the videos in this upcoming little series. So thank you for hanging out with us. I am sending you a ton of love. I'll see you for the next video. And until then, as always, stay enthused. Bye.